Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to discuss one important topic and one most important topic of complex number that is the square root of a complex number. In previously we have discussed about what is complex number and some property of complex number, what are the integral value of iota and other thing many more things about the modulus and argument of complex number. So those who have not seen this video lecture then you can go to our YouTube channel and go to the playlist and you can see that in the complex number playlist you can see all the previous video related to complex number. So today's topic is square root of complex number. I have also uh, uh, I have also said that in the previous video that modulus and argument is most important topic about the complex number so th because uh, every year um, at least one question has been asked at the joint entrance that is J.E. Mace uh, re uh, in related with modulus and argument of the complex number. So prepare in such a way that you doesn't feel any doubt in modulus and finding the modulus and argument of a complex number so that you can easily solve the question related to the modulus and argument of the complex number. So let's without wasting time let's move to this topic that the complex uh, square root of a complex number. So this is part 4 of complex number you can see the other 3 lectures in our youtube channel ok. So we have to first know what is the square root. So basically we know that the square root of a natural number is always a natural number. So in this such way we can say that the square root of a complex number is always a complex number. And suppose we take a complex number z equal to a plus iv. Okay. Suppose we have take a complex. Yeah, okay. We have to find the value of root z. That is root z equal to root over a plus ib. It will be always a plus ib. And this will be equal to x plus iy. Why sir this will be equal to x plus y? That I previously I have said that the square root of a complex number is always a complex number. That means if z is a complex number and if I find the root over of z then I will automatically get a complex number in the form x plus iy. This is the main concept of finding the square root of a complex number. Okay. So see this one. Let us consider one complex number z equal to a plus ib. We are considering one complex number where z equal to a plus ib. And we have to find out the value of its square root. That means root over z. And we are taking root over z equal to x plus ib. x plus iy. That is another complex number. x plus iy. That is another complex number. So root over z means we will put the value of z in under the root. That is z, the value of z is a plus ib. Okay. So root over a plus ib equal to x plus iy. Now we have to solve it by simple method of the expansion. So here please write these steps and try to understand what is going here about the steps. So now we are considering root over a plus ib equal to x plus iy. Then in the next step if we remove the root from the right left hand side then automatically it will become square on the right hand side that means a plus ib equal to x plus iy whole square and we know that a plus b whole square is equal to s square plus b square plus twice ab okay so similar concept we will apply in this case in the expansion of a plus i x plus iy and you can also uh, expand it by using binomial trans binomial expansion then I am considering x as my a and i y as my b and I will explain it. Then what, what I get x plus i y that I, I will get s square that means x square b square that means i y whole square and 2 x y x y that is 2 i x y ok. Then I this uh, distribu distributed over the uh, this i y whole square will be uh, square will be distributed over i and y. And after simplifying we get a plus ib equal to x square minus y square plus 2i xy. That means we are taking uh, real part one side and the considering complex part and another side. And now we will compare both sides after the real and imaginary part. Okay. Comparing the real and imaginary part. If we, comes, if we compare this equation with the real and imaginary part. We will automatically get the value of a as x square minus y square. And the value of b will as to x y ok now what to do now we are considering another equation as our x square plus y square whole square and we will expand it so you can consider x square as a 
and y square as might be and we know that a plus b whole square is can also be written a minus b whole square plus 4ab similar concept we are applying here i am considering x square as my a and y square as my b and x uh, sorry a plus b whole square we can write a minus b whole square plus 4ab okay similar concept i have applied what to do now then after the expansion we have get x x square minus y square whole square plus 4x square y square okay then after that we know that value of uh, value of x square minus y square from our previous question number one or see, sorry equation number one that the value of x square minus y square is equal to a and the value of 2xy is equal to v then simply we are putting the value then we get the x square plus y square then what to do after the uh, removal of the square we will get x square plus y square equal to root over s square plus b square okay this will be our equation 3 if we solve equation number 1 and equation number 2 we will automatically find the value of x square as this half into root over x square plus b square plus a and we will get the value of y square as our like this okay you can see this so what if x square is equal to this if x square is equal to then is this value then what will be the value of x obviously the plus minus root over of this and similarly value of <coughs> will be plus minus root over this similar concept we are applying here therefore x equal to plus minus root over of that x that means half into root over x square plus b square plus a and y equal to plus minus root over half into root over x square plus b square minus a okay now here the main point try to understand that point if b is positive in the equation 2 if equation 2 in equation 2 the value of b is positive if the value of b is positive then x and y both will be positive that means the multiplication of two positive number will be positive otherwise x and y both will be negative then only this condition will be satisfied then the x and y will be have same value that means if b is positive then the sign of x and y from equation 2 will be same then with what can we write root over a plus i b equal to plus minus root x plus i y okay that can we can write because we have taken that root over x plus a plus i b as our x plus i y okay because here you can see that it is written that root over x plus i y here we have not uh, we have nothing done we have just put the value of simply put the value of x and y this is the value of my y and this is the value of my x what i have found previously but simply i am putting the value of x and y okay and we have already considered that root over a plus i b is our root z and root value of root z is equal to x plus i y that's why i am putting the value of x and i if b is negative in equation 2 what is written in equation 2 we have written that b b equal to twice x y that means if b is negative then either x will be negative and y equal to positive or y will be negative and x will be positive that means x and y will have opposite signs then what in this case what to do in this case the square root of the particular complex number will be equal to root over a plus i b is equal to plus minus x minus i y this will be the value of my the square of square root of sorry square not square root of my complex number and simply we are putting the value of x this is my value of x and this is my value of y just simple this is the main concept about the square root finding the square root of a complex number now we will solve one example regarding the finding the square root of a complex number so so as to make your concept more clear so here is one question finding find the square root of z equal to 24 uh, sorry z equal to 7 plus 24i so we have to find root over z that means root over 7 plus 24i then we will consider root over z is equal to another complex number x plus i y okay similarly i have taken that like root over 7 plus 24 i y will be wait sorry it will be minus 
not will be plus it will be 7 minus 2i 24i okay it will be 7 minus 24i then i have to find the root then consider um, 7 minus 24i is as equal to x plus i y then on squaring both side if i square on the both side then it will be x minus i whole square then 7 minus 24i equal to x plus i y whole square which is which implies i will if i expand that a plus uh, expand that this one as a plus b whole square then i will automatically get s square plus b square plus twice a b that means i am getting x square minus y square because the value of i square is minus one that means i square y square is equal to minus y square plus i x y now we will consider uh, now we will compare the real and the imaginary part of that complex number so if we comp compare this equation then we will get x square minus y square equal to 7 and 2xy is equal to minus 24 okay that up to that is clear now we will solve it then if x, 2xy equal to minus 24 then we will get x equal to minus 20, xy equal to minus 25 by 2 or xy equal to minus 12 because minus 24 by 2 is equal to minus 12 now consider what we have learned previously we have to consider x square plus y square whole square one equation then it after expanding we will get x square minus y square whole square plus 4x square y square because we know that a plus b whole square can also be written as a minus b whole square plus 4ab where we are considering x square as my a and b y square as my b okay and right hand uh, left hand side will be same in the right hand side we are putting the value of x square minus y square the value of x square minus y square is our 7 and the value of 4x square y square that is if xy equal to minus 12 then x square y square will be equal to minus 12 whole square then after simplifying we will get the value of x square y square as plus minus 25 okay x square y square equal to plus minus 25 since now since x square plus y square is greater than 0 then we have to take x square y square as my 25 this will be equation 2 if we solve equation number 1 and 3 what is our equation 1 equation 1 is x square minus y square equal to 7 equation 1 this will be equation 1 okay this will be equation 1 this will be equation my 2 okay this will be equation 1 and this will be equation if we solve equation number 1 and 2 sorry this will be 2 then we will get we will get x square equal to 16 and y square equal to 9 you can simply st simply put the value after solving you can so i have not uh, shown you the simplification uh, as you are in class 11 then you can easily simplify these two equation using the linear uh, linear algebra concept of linear algebra or linear equation in two variables then the value of x will be plus minus 4 and the value of y will be plus minus 3 then from equation 2 what is equation 2 my equation 2 is xy equal to minus 12 what that means that means that if x is positive then y will be obviously negative because the multiplication of positive number along with the negative number is always a negative number if i consider y as my positive then x will be negative that means x and y are of opposite sign okay so we are considering since b is negative so x y are of opposite sign so x equal to 4 and y equal to minus 3 or we can take x equal to minus 4 and y equal to 3 then the square root of 7 minus 24 i is equal to plus minus 4 minus 3 i okay because we are uh, taking x y as of opposite sign okay so in this way we can find the square root of any complex number so i am here giving two uh, two question for so try it yourself in the home and try to practice about finding the square root of a, of a complex number if you and if you find any difficulty in solving the problem please uh, comment in the comment section then we will provide the solution of this two question also so and this one more thing this question has been asked in the AI Tripoli this question I have taken this from previous question paper previous year question paper of AI Tripoli and this question has been asked in the AI Tripoli you have to apply the concept of first complex number because here root over minus 20 is given that means you cannot apply the square root of negative number so you have to oh, convert it into a complex number and after that you have to find the square root of that number and it, its value will be plus minus 6 okay it is 4 marks question about james
तो इफ़ यू लाइक आवर वीडियो प्लीज़ लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड इफ़ यू फाइंड इट यूजफुल दैन प्लीज़ शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो एंड थैंक यू एंड हैव ए नाइस डे एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो